Hey folks, this is me Saurabh here and I want to show you a sublime extension for ASP.NET vNext that I've been working on. So one of the goals we had for ASP.NET vNext was to allow programmers to use any tool or platform of their choosing and incorporate it into their workflow. You've already seen what we have for you in store with Visual Studio and this video will show you what the experience of a developer using sublime text on either Windows or Mac will look like. To follow along with this video, grab the shortened URL and open it to your browser. This URL should take you to the home page of our Git repo, where we have detailed instructions on how to get started for both Windows and Mac. Since I've already installed all the required dependencies, I'm going to skip ahead to the getting started portion of this guide. This would be a good time for you to pause the video and catch up with me. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need is some starter code or sample code. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to run a command line scaffolding tool. If you guys have heard of Yo, you can go ahead and grab the generator ASP.NET, which is what I'm going to do in this demo. If you don't have Yo installed, you can clone our Git repository, which will get you started with the same samples. So I'm going to go ahead and say yo ASP.NET. Let's give you a second and I'm going to create an MVC application. Let's call this MVC application one. And uh, so our project just got created and you also automatically kicked off a KPM restore for us. So let's give it a second till for it to resolve all the dependencies. And cool. Now that it's done, I'm going to launch this project in Sublime. I'm just going to go ahead and say sublime and launch it. And there you go. We've launched our sample project in sublime. So this is a simple project. We have one model, one controller and a few views. So let's go ahead and see how to use the sublime tooling. So since this is the first time ever we're launching an ASP.NET app, we would want to go ahead and install the sublime culture plugin. So to do that, I'm going to press command shift P to pull up my command palette. Then I'm going to type in install package and select that option. And from the list of repositories that load, I'm going to select culture and I'm going to hit enter and it's going to install my package. If you don't have package control installed, we have instructions on the guide on how to do that. So at this point, my package is done installing. And to give it a spin, let's try and build our project. So I'm just going to press Command B, and that should open up a, a window here in which it builds. And looks like our application successfully built. Now, just to show you how the workflow would be if we did have some errors, I'm going to go ahead and intentionally introduce some errors. Let me take out a semicolon from here and another semicolon from here. I'm going to save this file as well as save this file and kick off another build. And now we see that we have two errors. So let's see what the errors are. So I can click on this to take me to the error. And there you go. It highlights the error. I'm going to go ahead fix this error and then press F4 which takes me to the next error. I can also cycle through these errors by pressing Shift F4 to go back to the previous error. And now, once I have seen both of them and fixed both the errors, uh, let me save this file again. I can kick off another build. And if we did everything right, it should successfully build. Cool, now that we know our application has no errors, let's go ahead and run it. To begin running my application from inside of Sublime, I'm going to press Command Shift P to launch the command palette. And here I'm going to type in run k commands. And when I hit enter, I'm going to see a bunch of options. Now let's just go over to the project.json to see how these options are populated. So if we look careful, we actually notice that kweb and kcastrol are being parsed from this JSON file and rendered here, as well as kbuild, kpm restore, and kpm pack are three common options that can be performed on any k project. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Kestrel because it's the web server that runs on Mac. And since there's no server URLs argument, 
it's going to run on the default port 5000 so I'm going to hit Kestrel and it's going to launch a new terminal window in which the server is going to start now were I running windows you would just see the same thing in a PowerShell window as we can see the server has now started I'm going to navigate over to my browser and go to localhost 5000 to see the application running and as you can see I have an ASP.NET MVC application running on my Mac. Let me close this and now I can quit the server and go back to Sublime.